Welcome to mission two of the Epsom campaign in DCS. I have already um, had a pretty detailed look through the briefing to familiarize myself so I can spare you the long 10 minutes or whatever it is we had from the last mission going through. But basically the plan is this, we get airborne, we orbit at 3000 feet just like in the last mission and we fly due south to some targets. There are two targets apparently. Um, we can skip forward to a couple of aerial photos. Um, just a warning if you fly this map, the map images on some of these screenshots are orientated with north at the bottom. So be very careful with your map orientation. Um, but that's going to be west of Kapike Airfield. There are two targets, one north and one south of this town called Shu which is C-H-E-U. Um, and here we go. Oh, it's actually C-H-E-U-X, but I think on the in-game map it shows us C-H-E-U, so someone spelt it incorrectly somewhere. The target to the north is a command post, apparently, with some guns. The target to the south is a HQ with tents and trucks. Now, Quite interestingly, apparently, we need to wait 15 or 20 minutes. I think it's 20 minutes. Mission starts at 0640, and 20 minutes in at 0700. The 8th Corps are going to mark the target with red smoke. Um, but the targets are just south of the base by 9 miles. And then I'm allowed to continue on a patrol, which is the reverse of the first mission, basically. So it's quite interesting. Let's get ourselves in the cockpit here, and we'll just check the spawn time. Yeah, we started at 22, so we've got a good 15 minutes, really, before we need to be um, approaching the target area. So there's no hurry with this one. Um, I have actually also bound some keys to my radio now, so you can see I've got the Bravo, Delta, and Charlie channels bound. So what we'll do is we'll take this really nice and slow to get started. Fuel is currently on and so is the fuel pump. I'll trim the aircraft now. We'll just trim that nose. Trimming the nose till it's just beyond the level. Good enough. I'm going to check that my gear lever is in the down position and my flaps are in the up position. And just checking my control surfaces and rudder. Yes, there we go. Right, we'll put some cockpit lighting on. Dim it down. And I'm going to request start. I'm actually going to do this the proper way. We'll get the mags on. We'll prime the engine. Four and a touch, I think. Go for it. Apply some brake. Indicator shows gear down. Right, we'll go channel Bravo for a local area or airfield. Right, and contact air traffic control at St. Quart and request startup. Wait for the response. Oh, look, my wingman's starting up as well straight away. And there's a two aircraft. Wow, everybody requests startup. That's cool. Okay, well. Okay, engine has started. Gun is to safe. Press taxi. So we're going to take this nice and slow. Right, I'm clear for taxiing runway 07. So I'm going to taxi over and then I'm going to hold short. And then I'm going to request takeoff and then... Let's close the lid. I'm going to request takeoff and then once I get takeoff clearance I'm going to switch to channel delta which is the channel for the um, second tactical air force 
or is it 83 group? I forget. Whatever it is, um, it's the group channel. I think it's the second TAF channel. Okay, so we're just going to hold short here before we request takeoff. There we go, request takeoff. My wingman holding behind me, I've got the other element. Great, we've got clearance to climb 300, which is our left hand orbit using flight levels, which I think was invented long after the Second World War, but never mind. Um, channel D, change the radio over now, channel Delta. I shall put the nav lights on, we'll get ourselves up and in the left hand orbit and then we'll shove the guns onto the fire position and we'll be good to go right rolling here get that nose down and we're up gear up confirm the flaps are up yes they are visually on the up position and the indicator on the wing is up Two's rolling. It's a radio call from number two. Okay, left hand orbit. Climbing to 3000. Reduce RPM. We'll go with 2650 to 2700 RPM and seven pounds, the max continuous setting. And wait for. So number three's rolling. You can see number two as well is up. Good. You can see the fog around. It looks really cool over land, the fog. In the valleys, it's really nicely how the fog's modelled. Um, and this, I think, is the same fog from DCS-1. It's the same system. Um, but it was always very good in DCS-1 anyway. My voice. Okay, so that radio call is written in the top right-hand corner of the screen. That came from Kenway, saying that there's uh, no change to the mission brief. The targets will still be scheduled to be marked with red smoke at 0700, and we're going to get a reminder five minutes prior. So that's handy. So it's five to seven, we can expect a reminder, um, at which time I think we'll head towards the target area. should be expecting my wingmen to start joining soon. I can see a couple of them way over there. So I'm um, just commenting on the fog a bit more. Over land, the fog looks really good. Unfortunately, in DCS2, they've put a, they've introduced a bug with the way the fog um, shows over the water. I've mentioned this before, I think, but there's a really strange kind of lattice that you see over the water. If I zoom out, it becomes more apparent, and I don't know if it will show in the video, but over here, there's this lattice, this grid pattern, like a wireframe grid that looks really ugly. Um, it disappears when you zoom in like that, when you're fully wide field of view, it looks very ugly. Um, it's quite pronounced over here. Anyway, we've gone past 3,000 feet. I'm going to turn the navigation lights off now. I'm going to turn the gun to the fire position. And now we're just going to climb in a left hand, waiting for everyone to form up and waiting for our five minute call. Last drinks, ladies and gentlemen, five minutes, last drinks. I'm just going to run the risk of increasing the volume just a fraction. Juggling the volume between the microphone and the DCS application has been quite a nightmare. Still don't think I've got it quite right. I think in the last video the engine was just a bit too quiet. Looks like our uh, the rest of a flight uh, sliding in behind. 
and I'm guessing B flight. Oh yeah, there's a B flight aircraft over there, and the airfield is now clear, so that's very good. I'm on the Delta Channel, Delta Channel still, the D Channel, Dog Channel. I don't know what they used uh, during the Second World War as the D term. I think the Americans used Dog. I'm not sure what the British used. Daddy. It'd be actually quite nice to get my hands on a full Second World War phonetic, RAF phonetic alphabet and use that. That would be quite nice. But for the moment, we'll stick with the NATO designations. There are eight aircraft over there. And there is actually what looks like red smoke or brown smoke or something there. That's Kapi K. That's actually very close to our target area. I wonder if that's our smoke. Those aircraft are uh, almost on top of it. I think it's too early for our smoke. It's still only, what are we? We've got 15 minutes. I'm sure the army's not that bad. I'm sure they'll fire the smoke within a minute of their desic. Oh, those guys are all diving now on that target. I don't think that's my target. I think that's another flight. Yeah, there's two. Attacking that target over there. In they go. Oh, you, this won't be... Oh, Tavern. That was an, uh, that was a European accent coming from those guys. Now that could have been French. It's a bit hard to tell with all the static. That could have been French, but it also could have been Central Eastern European, such as Polish or Czech or something. Tavern. I wonder what, um, I wonder what squadron that is. Well, they've just gone and hammered a ground target, and now they're on their way home. Well done, chaps. And they dive down from quite high. They were up at about this height when they started diving. So that means we can probably um, we can probably do the same. Clear the AI has no trouble attacking from up here. Right, quick check of the map. That should be Saint Croix there. I think that's the airfield we're operating from. Yeah, it is. Good. I've just got to get myself very familiar with all the landmarks here. There's this nice little river that runs along here with all this forest either side of it, and then that pops out here. So quite my airfield is there. There's a town on the coast right next to it. Okay, now that airfield back there behind me is orientated the same way. That's Somme View, and that's right next to Bayou. Okay, there's Bayou there, and that's Somme View. Good. Okay, that looks good. Are there any, I'm just checking actually the whole map in case they've actually added any new airfields in um, in the last update, but no, they haven't, unfortunately. Sometimes they um, make changes which aren't mentioned in the patch notes. There's a few times that's happened, so I always um, like to have a bit of a look around. Whoa, look at this. We've got another eight aircraft here just flying over the top of us. Four there, four there my flight of uh, four here with me and then B flight should be further back to the right so we've got 16 Spitfires and very very close uh, I'm gonna descend a bit here so those guys behind me don't crash into that other okay back up the last thing I want is media collisions between the AI and that formation of eight is nearly off on their way Let's check the time. Eight minutes two. We have uh, three minutes until the reminder, apparently, from Kenway. So we'll see if that happens. Breaking through a little cloud here. Let's just go to bed. Get ourselves out of this flag. have a sun behind because the dash is very brightly lit yep it's a low sun and it's directly behind me in the east and so you can see the the uh, inside of the cockpit is very well lit everything's nice and readable
going to stay on our side of the line until we get the, um, the five minute call because it's only a few minutes flight down to Kapi K. Like you can see Kapi K airfield there where the cursor is. I'll zoom in on it. That's Kapi K. And so the town that we need to attack is one of these ones around here. Um, that Shu town, whatever it's called, Shu, 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 sounds Chinese, is in that direction. Go back left again. We can expect the call in about one and a half minutes. And then it's going to be Head to target time. There's a lot of oh, look at the artillery flashes. I'm just gonna point the nose over in that direction a bit more. I'll go right wing down, and then I'll go left wing down. And we'll just look through this left wing, uh, left window here. And you can see all the artillery flashes. There's some battle going on. Ground forces are hard at it down there. And here we are, up at 11,000 feet in clear blue air. Right, there we go. That was actually to the second. <laughs> that um, that uh, audio played exactly five minutes to. Um, it would have probably been a little bit nicer had they been sort of 10 seconds early or 10 seconds late. Something like that would have been a nice little touch. Everything probably shouldn't be going perfectly to the second as per the brief it's nice to have a little bit of fluidity so you can see um bravo flight or whatever you would call them back there four aircraft and uh just behind the right tail plane is my section wingman and on the left is uh, the second section of a flight so we're spread out relatively nicely here by about a kilometer or so the two flights. We're going to now turn south towards the target area. You can see Kapikei airfield is over there. Um, I don't want to get too close to Kapikei. I think I'm going to stay to the west of it, which is going to be um, a heading of about 160, 170. Contact targets 2 o'clock. Point 0.3, really? Now I think point 0.3 does actually mean something like 30 degrees below the horizon. I think it, it's the wave file comes from um, the modern jet stuff, whereas they don't use those kind of terms. Um, well, I'm not familiar with those terms being used during Second World War fighting. Certainly not from all the material I've read. Um, they would normally say something like ground targets identified 10 o'clock low or 2 o'clock low or something like that. Of course, if it's a ground target, it's almost always going to be low. Not often you'd be in a situation where ground targets are above you. Can happen though, if they're on a hillside and you're flying through a valley. Wow, we're almost at the target area now. Um, I'm a bit nervous about getting there early and I'm a bit nervous about flak as well. Um, we'll just maintain this sort of orbit. Actually, why don't we try and get an ID on the target area? Okay, I've got a village here, a city here, industrial area with a big forest on the south of it. There's the airfield, and I've got three towns. Check the map. Kapike's there. Okay, there is this forest with that town, those three villages. The southernmost one is Shu. The four... Before the river, before the river, okay, there's that elongated town by the river. 
There's my airfield, there's that one, and there's three, and it's the southern one. So that should be, oh, look, I think I've already seen an objective, actually. There's four shapes there in that field. And I think that's one of the two targets. Can I spot the other one on the north side of the town? Yes, I can. There are four dots. Oh, this is such a good altitude to spot ground targets from. If you know where you're looking, what are we at? 14,000 feet. Okay, I'm going to remember that. Okay, the guys are spotting the ground targets now. All right, let's have a look. We can expect artillery in about 10 seconds. Or a minute and ten seconds. It's either ten seconds or a minute ten. Let's see. Okay, we've got one minute. Okay, there's lots of air defense targets and everything down there. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, guys. I don't really want to get down there. Um, apparently, there's air defense targets down there at one o'clock low. What I'm going to start doing now is a broad right-hand orbit so that we circle all the way around back onto the target. We've got 30 seconds till the smoke marks the target, apparently. It's all sorts of... Now, what town is that? There's all sorts of explosions down there. Red smoke's about to come in. That's Fonte Le Pesnel, apparently, if I read the map correctly. 10 seconds. Oh, there it is. One, two. Okay, I'm going to send B-Flight to attack the northern target, and I'm going to attack the southern target. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to position us down over the northern target, and then I'm going to call B-Flight in to attack ground targets. Um, so what have we got? Charlie. Uh, F-10 for other. And then we're going to go engage ground targets. Okay, we're going to F-4 for attack primary target. Oops. Back. Actually, I'm going to go with a ground target. Uh, let's go here for a primary target. Okay, hopefully that is uh, B flight engaging. Let's get A flight now to engage. My flight. Engage. Okay, I'm going to try and point at the second target. There we go. Throttle back. So it's going to be F1 to engage ground targets. Okay. Oh dear, they're just going to engage targets of opportunity. Not really what I wanted. Okay, what else is down there? What's in that field there? Okay, those are just... Those... Those are just hay bales. Right. Well, everyone's been tasked with engaging now. So I think it's time I made a run in on the target as well. I can't have my wingman doing all the work. Okay, there's, a, there's someone dropping in there. Someone else dropping in here. It looks like they're going after this target to the south. Okay, I'm going to help out, chaps. It's going to be a coordinated attack from about four different aircraft, all on the same target. Hope you don't... Oh yes, one down. Okay, this target has been destroyed, apparently. Let's get out of here. Okay, i got a friendly here. Blimey, let's all go. Wow, this is all happening very quickly. I don't think I can touch that target over there. That looks like um, tanks. Explosion. Someone got the air. Anti-air. Nice. Oh, well done, chaps. Okay, how's my engine looking? Now I'm going to make a run on that northern target. The southern one apparently has been destroyed. Let's see if we can... Get some uh, 
See if we can get some hits on something down here. I think these um I think these uh, mobile guns are gonna be too hard to hit though for me. Okay, I've got something moving through the field there. Yeah, they're impervious or oh, they're impervious to cannon fire. Oh look at all these spitfires! The whole place is teeming with them. Oh, one of my other guys is making an attack. Okay, someone's about to go guns. Oh, there's another vehicle in that field there. Ah, uh, that looks like a civilian vehicle. Yeah, we need P-51s for this. Um, it looks like that target can't be attacked. It's unfortunate that the Spitfire doesn't have... Oh, hello, is that a soft target there in the corner of that field? It is too. The Spitfire doesn't have bombs or rockets yet, so it may be that this target isn't really um, supposed to be destructible until the um, Spitfire gets updated. Um, it's quite laggy at the moment, so... I don't want to stick around too much. Now, I'm not going to go on the recce patrol. Once this target's been hit once more, I'm actually going to reform the chats, and we're going to... No, I can't hit that. Not at that angle. Is there any flak coming up after me? No, there isn't. I think I can make one more pass. It's a parachute. Someone's been nobbled. Okay, the red smoke has now dissipated. So I've lost... Oh, flak, flak! Okay, chaps, get out of here. Arty beep. Right, let's get everyone home. RTB infield. Okay, my flight. Navigation. Uh... Right, let's go rejoin. Okay, we need, to, we need to get out of here now. The red smoke has dissipated, and there's a lot of flak coming up now, so I'm quite keen to get my boys the hell out of here. And I am not going to bother with the secondary target. Okay, what's our heading? 6-0, so let's come left towards the C. The C is over here. So I think we destroyed one of the two targets. The second target, or the north target, was too heavily armoured for our cannons. Which is a bit annoying. I was wondering if there were going to be targets with armoured units. And it seems there is, so... It doesn't really work with the current state of the, um, the aircraft module. We don't have bombs or rockets. That is St. Croix over there. I'll get my chats to return to base as well. Flight. F6 for navigation. Uh, no. Yeah, F1 for navigation. Return to base. Okay, right. Now the base airfield is just over here. That was a quick mission, this one. Air traffic control. San Quasimir. I'm inbound. Runway 27, that's interesting. Oh yeah, yep, that's what I'm on here. Runway 27. Okay, I've just requested landing as well. Clear for visual contact tower, thank you. Right, so channel B, which is... Oh, it's already switched over to channel B for me. Super. Radio's automatically switched to Bravo, which should be that channel there. Yep, good, good. 
Okay, I'm just turning in on finals now. Two seven is this one here. Make sure the brakes are off. Oh, I've had my nav lights on the whole time. Oh, that's fine. At least my wingmen have known where I was. Okay, I've got clearance to land on two seven. Some punks rolling around in front of me here. Okay, one six zero, let's drop the gear. Nobody else currently lined up. Curious. Runway 27, 0 meters per second, 225, no point with the heading if there's actually no wind. Here is checked and down. Airspeed 150 flaps in a few seconds once we drop below 140. Full fine pitch. Brakes definitely off. Fuel's on. Flaps down. Right, let's see if I balls up the landing like we did in the first mission. Hoping I can make a slightly better go of it. I've got my brakes fully off this time. So he's hoping we don't get that nose drop. Right, coming over at 140. Let's try and cross the fence at 120. Let's drop the seat a little bit. 120 across the fence now, 110. Okay, up to the threshold. Bit of power. Just a bit of power. Checking out, returning to base. And back on the stick, back on the stick, back on the stick, back on the stick. Started playing a little brakes. Slamming the uh, rudder left and right with the brakes in a fraction. Reducing brake. There we go. That's a much, much better landing. Right. Departing runway. 27 clear. And we'll watch the others. They should be landing shortly. Yep, I've got a couple of aircraft on long finals over here. One looks to be lined up with the threshold. Right, flaps up. Gear is still in the down position, and here we go. Aircraft on finals, you are clear. Okay, so two missions complete in the Ipsum campaign. Uh, two missions of ground attack so far. I'm sure everyone's looking forward to some air-to-air -air combat. I don't know, I certainly am, but for now, we've got the uh, combat air support role. All right. Number two's uh, looking good there. Let's see who else is around. We've got another one over there. Low circling the base. And any others? Uh, not that I can see. Just catch this chap's wheels down and then we will shut the engine off. In fact, I better close this engine off now already. Mixture. And there we go. Right, we'll catch this guy's touchdown. Very tidy. Stuttering about a bit. Right, shut the engine down properly. Mags off. Switch is closed. Close that. Fuel off. Shut down the fuel properly. And we are good to depart. Thanks everyone for watching. Mission 2 complete. And uh, so far so good.